Hey guys, we're for Sony Sir, back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna make a tag us drop like Michael BB does in tracks like this. So as you can hear, his style is a combination of Latin elements combined with a really minimal style of tag house. First we need to find ourselves on Latin samples. So let's head over to Splice. I selected a few Latin samples like for example this vocal this melodic loop and these perk loops so they all have that classic latin swing to it so let's drop it in fl studio so i just quickly dropped in all the samples in fl studio Fitted them to the tempo. So we're gonna work with the key of the main sample of this one. Because it really got that classic Latin vibe to it. Then I dropped in the vocal and pitched it down a few semitones. Sounded like this. And then the Latin perk loops to build up the vibe some more. Altogether, it sounds like this. So now we're gonna resample the classic Latin loop to create steps with it to use in the drafts. So first of all, I made it unique. And then we're only gonna use this first part. Just like this. We'll be using it at every two bars. And then cut it like this. Let's see how it sounds. And then we're gonna use this end part. So then just simply duplicate it to make it an 8 bar loop. So now we're gonna mix it. First get rid of the low end and boost and boost the mids a little bit. Then some OTT compression. Then I boost to the highs just a little bit more around 4 decibels. And dip the mids at around 900. At around 900. And then just a lot of reverb and delay. And of course the sidechain to finish it off. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the vocal. I routed it to the same mixer channel. So it got a lot of reverb and delay. And then we're gonna cut it up. I think we're only gonna use this ad lib. And then this part at the end of the drop. Just like this. So then just duplicate it. Together, the samples in the drop sound like this. So now we're gonna dive into the drums. The drums Michael will be uses are quite minimal. Let's head over to the new Underground Tech House pack. Underground Tech House Volume 2. So we got a few car drum loops in there. Let's drop it in. We'll be using this kick. And this top loop together sounding like this. Then we're gonna drop in the perk loops from the breakdown sounding like this. You have a really dope bounce to it. Really like it. So now we're gonna add a glitch loop to it from the pack. It's quite common these days in Underground Tech House to use glitch loops. So the sample pack has a lot of it in there. Like for example, this one. So we'll be using this one, drop it in, they are combined with stems so we can mix it easily, so we can mix it in easily, something like this. As you can hear we added some reverb to it as well, besides that I pitched up quite a few semitones to have it in the same key, to have it in E minor. So the last thing I added is a drum bus, first of all I added a new plugin, taking it from this. to this and a bittersweet to add some more transient to it it's not a big difference but it really adds some more character to it so it's already quite dope but i want to add some more groove to it so so add it in this drum loop so now what we're gonna do is cut out the shakers from the drum loop 
Michael Bibi uses a lot of shakers in his track, so we're gonna do that as well. So I just skip that part, it's quite a boring process, but altogether it sounds like this. Just for some more groove, so altogether the drums sound like this. So now we're gonna dive in the last element of the track, the bass line. It's actually the most important part as well, so I got this new serum. Let's pick a preset from the pack. We'll be using this bass inspired by his track La Murga. So let's load up the piano roll. So we are working in E minor. So let's start off with three fast notes. Then go up the scale. And down. Lower down the velocity a little bit. We're gonna play with the velocity quite a bit as well to add some more groove to it because the style is, it's a really groovy style so we kind of want to humanize the melody to add some more groove to it. So then back up to the E and F sharp. Then just duplicate the first part. Just like this, and then switch up the velocity as well. Sounds quite random, but together with a kick, it will sound quite dope. So let's actually play it together with a kick. Super bouncy, so. So now let's make a second part of the melody. We're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna leave the first part the same. And we're only gonna make this note longer so it's quite similar so altogether the melody of the bass sound like this so now we're gonna mix it first i added the r bass to it to bring out the sub frequencies a little bit then, we, then i added some EQing to remove the boxiness of the of the bass and bring out the sub a little bit more and of course, quite a big sidechain to, to make room for the big kick drum. So, also got the kick and bass sound like this. It's a typical Michael Bibi style, so I think it's really dope. We are only, so now we only need to arrange the drop a little bit more. Just like this. That's it for the Michael Bibi style drop. I think it turned out really dope. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. We say that if you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next videos.